ओके ओके सो यस हितेंद्र आई विल बी अपलोडिंग विथ ऑन यूट्यूब एज वेल बट आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू टू गो अलॉन्ग एज आई शेयर विथ यू एवरी वन रेडी कैन वी गो अहेड can i have yes from all of you if you are ready with your windows open and uh, you will be practicing as we go yes okay great thank you so welcome all uh, welcome to financial fitness program my name is samir bapat and today we are going to uh, learn how to use trading view so first of all you will be having this window uh, in front of you as you log in uh you will find uh, once you go to products you will find charts or if you are having some old window somewhere you have to search out in the top itself uh you have to click on the chart so first of all you click on the chart this trading view will take you to something like this it may appear different in your maybe candlestick charts or something like that will come but something one window with some line and dots and all will appear so go back to your charts go to the product chart uh, open this window and okay i'll pause for a minute please go to your charts go to products come to the chart something like this should open we will bring it in sync with each other in a while once you are there someone can type yes and shruti has raised the hand yeah shruti what is your question what i'll do is i'll allow you to unmute okay because if you are having some issue you can uh, go but once you ask the question mute yourself again okay because we are lot of people here so i don't want too much commotion to be created so if you have a question or if you are having doubt just pause me i'll explain it and then we'll go ahead you can unmute while we are uh, going through this session so now here on the left hand side corner of your screen uh, you can see bdl is written what i will do is i'll change the symbol i'll uh, switch to maruti let's say maruti so how you have to do it i'll go step by step you have to go on the left hand side corner where it is written bdl some other symbol must be written in your trading view you have to click here symbol search will be appearing you have to click here this big window will open in this big window in search option everyone can type maruti now maruti suzuki is written just make sure you are clicking on the indian flag because we are more trading into indian stock markets you want to see indian symbols only so you click on this maruti the chart will change now your chart will be looking somewhat similar to my chart okay so just change it to maruti in the meanwhile i'll just prepare for something else <clears throat> once done once you are typed maruti and your chart matches with mine type yes or you can unmute and say yes so i'll wait for someone to say either type yes or say yes once someone says one or two people say yes i will move ahead okay so puja has given a green signal let me go ahead now uh you have to remember this nsc site okay this is nsc india this is national stock uh, exchange of india's uh, website now i am just type going to type here maruti no need to open right now you can check it out later also as you can see uh, as you are all aware market opens at 915 from 915 it will dance up and down full day it will dance here and there and close at certain value that value is captured here uh, today maruti opened at 08013.90 it has gone up till 8100 gone low till 7900 and closed at 7966 so this is the value so four values are captured predominantly open high low and close for charting we use this values four values 
okay now i am going to click historical data and before that i am going to ask you one question how many of you remember this plotting this in childhood can i have yes if you were if you remember plotting this yes so we had some date and we had some values so we'll uh, match the date with the values with the dots and join it with the line so that is how uh, some people had blue uh, graph paper some people had uh, red green but something like that uh, we had everyone had right okay so everyone plotted this so same this is what is technical analysis analyzing this chart whatever you plotted in childhood we were given only to plot this now to make money we will be analyzing this chart and making money out of it great now let's go back to our maruti um, suzuki example now here what happens is every day like i said 9:15 the market opens the price of maruti will dance around from 9:15 till uh, 3:30 at 3:30 it will close at a certain point now <clears throat> you can see the maruti if you can see maruti just type m m m if you can type m so i'll know you are seeing the maruti historical chart this is the maruti data this is maruti maruti suzuki india limited maruti data this is every day's data so uh, on nsc website they will plot every day's data 31st march close price was 7966 30th march was uh, 8013 7942 like that if we look at data it will not be able to make sense uh, what happened during the last one month in the may month of uh, in may month what happened we could not make out so that's why what we do is we plot it so what we do is the data is plotted on the graph this is a graph at the bottom at the bottom you can see june may june and all uh, if i zoom in this is the date and on y axis you will have price same like what we used to do in childhood uh, this dot is as per the closing price it is plotted here so, maruti 31st may closing price was 7966 it is plotted here as uh, 7966 is matching with the price and the date 31st may it is matched now if i keep a mouse it may not be accurate so accurate value has to be seen from the top here Uh, maruti suzuki india trading view where my mouse is going and from here you have to look at this so if i keep my mouse here you have to look at the left hand side top after maruti suzuki 1d nsc trading view a value is written that is the value closing price for 31st may so 31st may you have to look at the bottom you will be able to see the date and price like that to match with that with my a uh, chart what you have to do is maruti then there is a plus sign then there is a d after that there, there may be something uh, take take a drop down select on line so you will match uh, with my chart here then keep the mouse on the dot how to bring the dot okay first bring the line chart for maruti okay what you have to do uh, left hand side corner after maruti there is a plus after that there might be a d w something after that there is a uh, drop down drop it down you will have a line click on that your view will be something like that or only line will be there bring to that and type here yes, then i'll tell you how to bring these dots here done yes okay now uh, take your mouse uh, 
uh, I think what right click here somewhere in the blank, just right click, you will have this drop down, go to settings, in settings symbols, then price source type in type if you select with markers, you will have dots if you have simple there will be no dots if you have with markers select with markers then after symbol go to appearance and click on watermark you will get the name also in behind click ok so now you can see this maruti you can see in behind and these dots are there so change it to dots and type yes So you have to change from settings, you have to symbol, change type with markers, appearance, go for watermark, change it to watermark and then type yes. <clears throat> Once you try, type yes, I'll wait for it. Okay, great. So now this is the line chart. So just to practice along with me, I'll show you what to practice. And then you can practice. See, like we said, we learned in childhood, the X and Y axis, uh, you can see you have to take the mouse to the one dot, you have to see what is the price here. That is the oh, price of the closing okay. for that day. Uh, please remain mute if you are not asking a question or I'll have to mute. It. Yeah. Okay, I'll mute everyone, sorry for that. Okay. <clears throat> now, okay, so you have to communicate while chatting with me. Okay, by chatting only. So what you have to do is take the mouse there on the dot, see what is the left-hand side corner, what is the price written after Maruti Suzuki, one day NSA trading view. Uh, okay, one more thing we'll do. Make sure you have a D here only. That is the day chart. So once you click on that, uh, whatever is there after plus, if you click, you have to take it to one day because we will be learning on daily chart. What does day mean? That is a daily chart. So make sure your chart is looking Maruti, D and the line after that. And then it will be looking something like that. Take your mouse here, you will see the date at the bottom of your mouse, 31st May, as you can see, and right side, the value cannot be accurate. So you have to look here, then take your mouse to 30th May, uh, 27th May, like that. So you'll see the values changing on the left-hand side top. Just observe that, and then we'll go ahead. Once you practice, type yes, we'll go ahead. Okay, Surya is saying yes. One more person, if you can say yes, we'll go ahead. Others done? Yes, okay. So I have one more. So we have learned three things. Okay, yeah, great, I got. So we have learned three things as of now. First is how to change the symbol, which is on the left-hand side corner. Instead of Maruti, if you type, uh, reliance, uh, then Reliance will come. Make sure you are seeing the Indian flag and you are clicking on the all, click on Reliance, the chart will change. Don't change right now, I'm just revising. If you want to see TCS, you can type TCS. Uh, this will come, you click, the chart of TCS will come. Let's go back to Maruti. So you have to change the symbol, okay? This is how, oh, this is how you change the symbol to see the chart of the stock you want to analyze. That is part number one. Second is whatever we are learning, we will be using in our class only 
daily chart. So the second thing we have learned is D and there is a something called week, month, six months, everything. Don't worry, five minutes, 15 minutes, whatever is there right now, you are in the beginning stage. So use only, uh, select only one day, you will have D. Third is, there is something called line. So you have learned how to select the line chart, make a markers by going to settings, select symbol with markers, appearance, you have selected watermark, you have said, okay. We have learned this all things as of now. And we have practiced. Everyone okay? Any questions with whatever we have learned so far? If everyone is crystal clear, type CC. Okay, great. Now, <clears throat> from here, these are the line charts. Go to this line chart, change it to candles. So we will have candlestick charts. Okay. Go to this, after D, whatever is there, click on it, you will see candles, click on the candles and we'll have a candlestick chart. So we'll be either using line charts or we'll be using candlestick charts. Most of the world uses these two only. Some people use Hakkinashi also. Right now, since we are uh, in the beginning stage, we'll use a line and candle. So go to your chart and change it to candlestick chart. So you'll have Maruti, D and these two candles are there. Once you have candle, uh, let me know. I'll, uh, we will go ahead. Once you uh, bring in the candles, type yes, I'll go ahead. Okay, great. After that, so what is the candle? Candles are nothing, but like I said, uh, in data 31st May, the Maruti share, it started trading at 8013. As you can see here, date 31st May, then we have open price to so 915. It started trading at 8013. It went till 8100. Lowest it came down to 7900 and it closed at 7966. So that is what was the story of Maruti for today. Yesterday it opened at 7980, high it went to 708060, low came to 7951 and close happened at 8013. So this is every day's story. It opens, goes high, goes uh, low and this is the story. Same is reflecting in the candlestick chart. So if you take the candles, here you have to see the value O, H, L and C. That is open, high, low, and close. So if you want to see the open high low close values, keep your mouse on the candle and uh, this this row, the top row, you can see O, H, L, C. You have to see the open high low close values of that candle. These values, why I'm giving specific stress on seeing these values because in trading, you either buy above the high or sell below the low, something like that. It, you should be able to make out where to buy and where to sell. Otherwise, many people get confused here. He's saying something, but where to buy, where to sell. So this is very important. So go back to your chart, convert into candle. Again, uh, see, uh, keep your mouse on the candle. Observe that open, high, low, close values at the top, what it is mentioned. Once you observe, type yes. I want at least three people to type yes after they do the observation of the values. So you can put your mouse on one one date and then observe. Okay, so two people have said yes, one more yes, and then we go ahead. Okay, great. Prasanna has said yes. Great. Now the, in candlestick, the candlestick is red if the closing price was lower than the open price. So the reference is always open price. If the closing price is less than open price, then the candle is red. If the closing price is greater than open price, the candle is green. So what happened this day? What happened this day on 29th April? Close is lower than open. Perfect, Surya. 
what happened on this day? On 21st April, close is higher than open. Great. So this is how uh, the candlesticks are drawn and the wick on the top of it, it will be marked till the highest place. So between close and open, this candle rectangle will be made and colored. Uh, if the close is higher than open, then this rectangle will be colored green and the remaining value, the high and low uh, points will be extended by the wick. The Western world saw this from Japan. This thing came in Western world somewhere around 70s or 80s. Uh, so Western people, they named it candlestick because they saw it as a body and a wick on the top. That's why it is called candlestick. And as we know, whatever Western world calls that is getting followed. So we also call it candlestick patterns. Nothing wrong in it. So this is the candlestick pattern. This, are, this is how uh, it is drawn. So we have learned four things. Now we have to put indicators on that, right? So in the, after this candlestick, there is something called indicator. So let's click on the indicator. Something like this will appear. First indicator we'll put is moving average. So what we will do is in this search, right? Moving, M-O-V-I-N-G, moving. So average, this something like this will come click on it. What I want you to do is click on moving average three to four times. Okay. And close it. So go to indicators, type in search, moving average, moving average. Then moving average will come. Click on moving average two to three times and then type yes. Okay, Vijay Lakshmi said yes. Okay, others. Okay, it was Anud Radha. Sorry, I called you Anirudh. Anir, Anir, Anuradha. Okay. Prasanna. Okay. Yes, Surya. Yes, Bhavika. Yes, Prasanna. Yes, Shruti. Yes. Okay, great. Now, what would have happened is you must have got some three, four moving averages here. So, what happens sometimes by mistake, we click two, three times and we get too many indicators here. Everything is overlapping. So it is not visible here, but you must have got two, three, four, five moving averages here. So nothing to worry if you get four or five, just go and take your mouse. As you can see on the left hand side, there are one, two, three, four, five, six moving average for me because this is a paid version. I can click six times. Those are having free version. They might have got two or three. So don't worry, just go and click with the cross and remove all the extra moving averages and only keep one. This exercise was to show you, sometimes you might click two, three times. Don't worry, go and just check on the left hand side if it is written many times. That means you have clicked many times. Don't worry, just go and click on the cross and bring only one. So go delete the extra ones in your view keep only one so only one should be appearing here on the left hand side corner ma9 close 0 for sma5 something like that must be appearing once you do type yes Okay, Surya is saying yes, I need two more yes to proceed further. Okay, okay, great, thank you. Now, let's see how to uh, change this moving average, how to use this moving average. Uh, once you take your mouse on moving average, these four buttons open up, one, two, three, and four, okay? The first one is for hiding. So it's like an eye shape. 
if you press on hide it will this moving average will hide but the indicator will still be there if you click again unhide the line will appear i'll do two three things and then you can practice second is the settings after you press the setting something like this will open with style and inputs first let's go to style whatever is clicked moving average if you click here it will disappear if you click again it will appear let's change the color to black and then once you change to black same color panel if you go down slowly there are thickness of line let, let me make it thick the third number thick here and then inputs instead of 9 i will type 50 okay i'll repeat again what you have to do is first take your mouse to this moving average first practice with i first press the i it should disappear again press the i it will appear then go to settings go to style moving average in front of moving average click it this color panel will open change the color to black then go down something like thickness will be mentioned click the third one it make it thicker then click anywhere here on the panel then go to inputs change the length to 50 and once done type yes Yeah, change the length to fifty. Change, go to setting, inputs length to fifty. That is, this is fifty day moving average. So mostly we use fifty days. Like globally, uh, people use fifty day, hundred day, two hundred day. This is how you change for moving average. You can make length fifty. You can make length hundred. Then it becomes hundred day moving average. if you click okay it becomes 100 day moving average if you click inputs if you make 200 it becomes 200 day moving average okay so just make it 50 and see the changes that's it later on you can play around with it no change to to change the smoothing okay uh, just keep the inputs length once done type yes okay 2 3 yes great great now so we have learned four things one changing symbol then day uh, chart then uh, candlestick and line then we have learned about indicators see indicators again there are two types of indicator one indicator which will sit on the chart okay like moving average or we have bollinger bands if i type bollinger bands then bollinger bands this will go and sit on the top of the price chart itself no need to put bollinger bands i am just showing it you can practice it later or indicator we have ichimoku so if you have ichimoku it will go and sit on the top of the price action so candles ke upar ja ke baithega wo and another type of indicators are which will come in the bottom like so what i would request you to do is go and type rsi you will get relative strength index click on relative strength index as you can see the indicator has come at the bottom so few indicators will sit on the price action few indicators will come at the bottom so go to your chart press indicator plus uh, on search type rsi relative uh, uh, strength index will come at the top select on that and this something like this will come so once you are done type yes
how does awesome oscillator and mscd are different okay that is little bit out of syllabus for today uh, we will cover it uh, sometime later because today we are uh, focusing on very basics of using trading view okay so uh, yeah I, I will take it sometime but not today because uh, we are going through very basics i don't want to uh, diverge from here okay so <clears throat> okay so again rsi you can take you have i it will make it disappear setting you can change the setting style uh, too many lines inputs you can uh, rsi mein ye kahan se aa gaya bhai one minute style ha here okay this 70 normally i uh, say 60 and 40 something like that so uh, settings you can again see the settings and like that now so you can see the settings i will go little faster because we have to cover some more part of it now sometimes what happens is by mistake you uh, left click on the chart Uh, double click here okay so what will happen is rsi will disappear in the bottom somewhere blank space if you double click it will disappear but this is a feature of trading view if you double click it will hide the whichever is in the bottom like additional at the bottom is kept so if you don't find you are you are putting the symbol but it is disappearing somewhere just double click maybe it will appear here or if you double click on rsi the rsi will become huge on your screen and you will feel ki yaar mera chart kidhar gaya so anywhere in the blank go and double click kidhar to bhi hide hua hoga it will come back so just try this two things out and see if you are double clicking on blank space in chart the rsi will go if you uh, double click on rsi the chart will go again double click it will come back you can put rsi indicator try doing this go to settings and type yes we will uh, go ahead okay great so now let's remove the rsi also from our chart so this is our chart one more problem which people face is uh, i'll remove this moving average as well you can also remove the moving average now the problem which uh, people face is it might look start looking something like this okay so the charts look very in one line as like that compress kar diya ho daba diya ho kisi ne something like this so what you have to do is if you see something like compressed go to this price Uh, y axis right where the all the price is written left click you have to do double click here if you click double click it will open up or sometimes what happens is this expands like anything the chart goes out of the screen and people are confused ki are ye aisa kyun dikh raha why it is not looking properly again it may be because you might have done something uh, like khistan kar diya hoga kuch don't worry go to the price do the double click left uh, double click on the uh, y axis here on the price it will make it normal just remember this if you find that this is the price is stretched out like anything here you have to double click on the uh, this uh, price axis or if it is compressed like that if you if you are feeling ki are kuch normal dikh nahi raha hai so just go on this uh, y axis price and double click it will become normal okay now the replay mode very good mode i love this mode this is a very good feature in a trading view so you have this replay mode replay mode is nothing but like when you will be attending my webinars further down uh, down the uh, line i'll say go back and back do the back testing now how do you do back testing is you simulate it how do you simulate you go to the replay button and once you press the replay button you see one line has appeared along with my mouse you put this line so if i take this line here 
after I click, you will see that the chart on my right hand side will disappear. So I'll click here. The chart on the right hand side has disappeared. And one panel like this will appear on your screen somewhere. You have to find it out. There are few buttons on this. First button is this play with a uh, line. As you press, it will the one one candle is appearing. You have to see the candle. I'm pressing it by one by one. See the one one candle is appearing. So this is how you can simulate. That is the beauty of stock market. You can always test back in the past what has happened by simulating. Uh, cut the chart, play it. Second button is the normal play button. If I play it, this is the speed. If I press that play button, it will automatically play one by one candle and move ahead. So I'm not pressing any button. My mouse is uh, uh, far away. So it's just playing. When I press this play button on this panel, again, if I press the pause button, it will pause. Third is these two candles. I will press it and again the line will appear and we can cut it. Okay, so these three functions we are going to learn. Okay, so I got a request to repeat again. Okay, now see. <clears throat> okay, if we have a chart here, now I want to replay it. What is the meaning of replay? See, what happens is we'll do back testing. As we learn strategies, we'll be doing back testing. You'll be hearing from me. Okay, you do the back testing. How do we do back testing? By removing the chart and going back in the historical time, going back in the time, we can slide like if you uh, just scroll it on the left side by your mouse, you'll go to the previous day's chart. Go to replay button. Click on replay button. You will get one line along with your mouse. So take it somewhere on the chart. And if I click it, all the data after that line will disappear. See now on your screen, my chart is only till 5th of March 2021. As you can see the date below, it is cut to 5th of March 2021. Okay, that means the all the data of last year is gone. Now find a panel. You can see this panel uh, here. This panel will appear on your screen. Now you can play the chart as if you are playing the video. So this is first button is forward where this play with a line is there. You have to, if you press <coughs> it will, the candles will appear one by one. The next one is the simple play button. If you press that, the candles will appear automatically with the speed you have selected here after the speed. You can pause it. If you want to cut it again, go to the third. Again, press it, line will appear, go back. You can cut again and play. So this, practice this, this will help you in back testing. This is very, very powerful tool uh, provided in TradingView for back testing. And when you are to end the replay mode, there is a cross button at the end. Just press the cross, it will say end, yes, and it will come here. Okay, go back to your charts and practice this replay mode and type yes. Once I have three yes, we will go ahead. How come only Shruti, Surya and who is there? Prasan is there and Bhavika will say Anuradha, only four people are, okay, Pratik is also. How to go to left of chart? See, uh, here at the bottom, if you see, uh, if you take your mouse to the bottom, uh, you will see two arrows uh, left and right appearing. If you click on the left, uh, left one, then uh, it will go towards left. The chart will go towards left. If you click on the right uh, arrow, it will go towards right. So everyone can practice this. Take your mouse to the center of the chart. You will see uh, four buttons, five buttons appearing. One is plus and minus. So plus is for zoom in. 
minus will be zoom out it has to appear uh, sandy or you have to uh, refresh or log in again if you take your mouse to the center bottom see the plus minus is appearing so you can zoom in plus minus with plus you can zoom in uh, minus zoom out left you scroll left right you scroll right or with the help of mouse also you can zoom in zoom out you can do so either with those buttons or with mouse also you can do mouse also if you uh, drag it uh, you can get it so everyone can practice zooming in zooming out going left going right on your chart and then we'll go ahead Okay, once you practice zooming in, zooming out, going left, going right, right, uh, then type yes. We'll go ahead. Okay, so <clears throat> one more yes, two yes. I got. Okay, great. Thank you. now go in the same line further down here and if you see here this uh, tablet is made tablet is there you can see this uh, tablet here at the right hand side corner if you press this watch list will open so you have a watch list in the free version you will get only one watch list in paid version you have more if you want to take paid version take some time in november when black friday comes they have 60% 50% discount that time right now it will be uh, like can take i am not saying you cannot take but if you want more discount you can take in november uh, black friday sales come uh, 40 50% discount is there so this tablet is there if you press once this window will open this is a watch list uh, if you press it again it will close this thing one thing you have to practice second is whatever watch list is there after that this plus button will be there press that press button and this add symbol window will open so i'll uh, type reliance so click on this you can see it got added here now uh, let me type infi okay infosys click on infosys you will see here infosys got added wipro okay if i click on wipro wipro get added so you close it you can see reliance infi wipro got added in my watch list this helps me in quickly uh, reaching to the symbol without typing okay so you can go and then if you want to remove those symbols you can just uh, go take your mouse on the symbol and cross it how to shift uh, between the symbols very fast you don't have to type it just click on that maruti suzuki the infosys chart will open wipro chart will open reliance chart will open if you click it will simply change very fast if you want to remove you can just press the cross and remove from watch list so try it out and then type yes we'll go ahead okay shruti is saying yes okay 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 great now lot many people are saying yes great thank you now we have understood the watch list now if we go uh, here let's get back to maruti only now here is a maruti chart now take your mouse to the left hand side here you will see this cross is there this line is there this uh, one line is here after that there is a small arrow you click on that small arrow this complete menu will open in that go to take your mouse to horizontal line click on horizontal line take the mouse to the screen click here 
one line will appear it may have a different color but a horizontal line will appear so bring in that horizontal line on your screen and you will get something some panel like this so bring that panel also here near the line Once you bring that line, horizontal line, one line you bring, type yes. Okay. Now you can change the color from this panel. You must be having some panel somewhere. Idhar udhar chupa rahega. Usko pakad ke yahan se this dots are there at the end. You can hold it, like drag it here. Uh, you can change the color when you click here. You can change the color to red. You can change the color to green. Then you can change the thickness by this. Uh, then you go to settings. Uh, you can go to coordinates. You can change the coordinates to uh, let's say eight to zero zero and say okay. So it will move. Okay. So here, if you are not getting this panel. Just click once on the line, you will get this panel. So you can change the thickness from here, color from here, from settings. You can change the coordinate where it is sitting. Like right now, it is at eight two zero zero. I want to shift it to eight four zero zero. I can type here either eight four zero zero, and it will shift to eight four zero zero, or I can hold it and drag and shift by changing the in. Coordinate changing it goes very accurately. Like you can precisely put it at eight six zero zero. so change the color of your line change the location of your line by coordinates by dragging uh, change the thickness of the horizontal line and type yes uh sudhir this uh, if you click on this let's say right now this line here if you see it is at 8600 i want to change it to 8400 so you can double click on the line uh this uh, panel will open go to coordinate uh, click 8500 or 8550 also you can click uh, type here in coordinate click okay it will come at 8550 or second thing is you can hold it and drag it with your mouse to some location that is also possible uh, like that changing the coordinate you can precisely put it in 0.05 also you can put like 8690 so you can put 95 also if you want so that is uh, five paise ka precision se we can do second after horizontal line is uh, go to the same panel here uh, one small arrow will be there go and click on the vertical line click vertical line here same thing change the color of the vertical line change the thickness of the vertical line if it is dotted change it to line line to dashed line and drag with the mouse left or right wherever you want to put it this is the vertical line so once you are done horizontal line and vertical line type yes those who are shortcut people who uh, love shortcuts horizontal will come with uh, you can see this alt h will be there and vertical will be alt v okay if windows you are using uh, and in uh, in mac it will come options h options v horizontal h alt h uh, you'll get the horizontal line immediately wherever your mouse is there 
alt v you will get the vertical line so that is a shortcut once done horizontal and vertical both settings and all type yes or type done d for done okay 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 completed great now i want to delete both this line so what i'll do is i can take this uh, on the left hand side panel itself if i take my mouse uh okay dotted uh, satish uh, here if you click on this this panel is coming after px there is this dotted line so if you put it line dotted or if you double click on this line settings will come style you can change it dotted to line line to dotted dotted to dashed yeah so here in style you can change it uh, from line and all if you are not going to settings if this panel is opening then the fourth one you can drop down dashed dotted got it now if you want to delete this all drawings you can go if you if you on the left hand side panel if you go down there is a dustbin which is uh, a symbol of dustbin is there if you delete this entire thing will be deleted if you don't want to delete if you want to just hide this i is there if you click on the i the lines will be hidden okay sometimes you are drawing the line and they are not visible the chances are you have clicked this i button and it is hidden so if you click the i button it will unhide or hide if you want to delete this lines you can press this delete button it will delete if you by mistake you delete it so control z or undo button will bring it back okay so this is what we learn and then uh, let me delete this and now again we go back to the same location we will uh, study two remaining you can try it out first is the trend line so i'll teach both i'll teach both and trend line and ray i will teach and then you practice first is trend line see it has got two rounds here in this so trend line you have to click two times so normally trend line is drawn joining the bottom so let's say if i am so first what this is the one bottom on the chart i'll click here one circle is drawn i will extend it and take it to other bottom wherever i want to join i will click there so you see this two circles are drawn first at this location another where i click the second time i'll do it again i'll go and select the trend line trend line is drawn uh, like if you want to draw something at a an angle or flat whatever so i want to join this two bottoms with a line i will draw first click at this location and then click at this location i'll get a line this can be uh, change the direction you have to go to the circle and drag it if you want to draw it like this you can change the location like this itself and <clears throat> you can draw it like this so like people say the trend has been broken that means this line has been broken the trend has been broken by maruti okay so you can draw the trend line change the location first click on it this uh, you have to get hold of the circles at the end of the trend line and then change it from here to there somewhere anything you want to do so one end will be fixed another end has to be moved so once you draw the trend line uh, you can practice wait now second is the ray this thing will use this ray also has two dot and one line so like if i'll start here the bottom i'll click once see you will see a continuous line second time i'll click below this a circle will appear and this line will go towards infinity where it helps is when i teach triangles it will help you in draw triangles okay so like in this case this is a triangle of maruti suzuki it went down went up went down seems like triangle is broken 
uh, if you see the triangle video now we can have a judgment how far maruti is likely to go so you practice the trend line and you practice the ray so go to the same location practice the trend line practice the ray a good find here maruti will go how far should i tell you there is a possibility of maruti going to okay so those who are here and if you want to watch you can go and watch my triangle uh, video how to draw triangles and how to infer this is a triangle which maruti formed here and it has come out of this triangle there is a possibility that it will go to 10000 is it a lifetime high what is its lifetime high uh, okay so this is the lifetime high let's keep our uh, estimates in the limit so 99334 so maruti share if the triangle theory is okay then it has got a potential now to go to 9000 don't me ask right don't ask me right now how, how did i make it you can watch the triangle video or we'll cover it later so once you are done with the uh, raise and trend line let me know but remember there is a possibility of uh, maruti to go up from here it should break this point it it has to break this point if it breaks this point if it goes up above this 8060 or let's say 8100 uh, then it has got good potential if it closes above this it has a potential to go till almost 99000 so almost let's say 20% upside potential is there for maruti after 8100 okay once done type yes okay shruti has practiced the trend line and ray over the others okay surya prasanna have done how about two three more okay sandy has done great now one more important thing is this is all fibonacci you you can practice and all i'll only cover this one thing two things if you come down 1 2 3 4 5 fifth if you uh, press the arrow price range is there if you select the price range then like you can measure the difference between two points see you can see this is 2491 you don't have to calculate you will have a line when you are tra learning triangles and fibonacci i'll be using this lines more often so just practice to draw this lines so what you have to do is bring the mouse here uh take this uh, drop down take to price range click at one location and click at another location then you can hold it and move it when i am teaching you the triangles and acc accumulation distribution and all it will be useful that time second thing you have to do is date uh, range so click on date range so how many working days have passed so this is how it measures the number of working days it has taken from here to here that is helping us in uh, back testing so i am just uh, use it it starts from zero so counting starts from zero so if it is saying 24 bars that means actually it is 25 bars you can practice both okay so first is uh, price range uh, this uh, after this uh, from here on the left hand side menu 1 2 3 4 5 is there i think 5th or 6th if you click on the arrow you'll see price range price range is nothing but it will measure the if you click at one point take it up so instead of using calculator it will calculate and tell you it is 2486 points from here to here okay so this is how price range is made i'll be using it while teaching triangle and other things you will have to use it that time second is the date range date range is when we want to count the number of candles from here to here how many working days have passed so as you can see 24 is written here from here to here 24 bars have gone 
since it calculates from zero, so it calculates zero, one, two, three. So if it is showing 24, it is actually 25 bars from here till here. So it will count the number of bars. We'll have a use later. I'm just telling you how to uh, put it here. So you can put the price range and uh, date, uh, date range here and uh, type yes. Date range is uh, date range. Uh, you can put it from uh, click, click at one point, another point, you can see the bars, right? Number of uh, working days, number of candles, it will count one, two, three, four, five, like that. There are 24 candles, 25 candles. It will show 25 minus one. done okay now final thing is when i'm doing a back testing i want to go to a chart which is very old like in the same uh, i want to go to a back date so if you take your mouse uh, down here you will see something called a, a shape similar to wallet take your mouse down below this date range uh, you will find a rectangle with an arrow click on that this go to uh, window will open here you will type 20100101 that means 1st january 2010 you will ask the chart to go there 10 years ago so just type that date press go to the chart will go and it will appear something like that so this is the price action on 4th of jan why 4th of John? Maybe 1, 2, 3 were holidays. One was holiday, 2 and 3, Saturday, Sunday. So it has gone till 4th. This is a go to button. At the bottom here, go to button. Let's say, we'll say, okay, go to 2011, 0101, go to, it will come to the date 0301. Again, you will ask why 03? Because 1 and 2 might be Saturday, Sunday. Okay, so you can use go to button and type yes. Okay, so this is the last button. There are more buttons, but uh, we will learn as we go. Now, since you will be getting, you have got familiarized with the training view, you can just play around with the buttons. What is happening? What you can do like that? You can use it. So these are the basic things uh, which I wanted to share with you so that you are comfortable when we are talking about uh, strategies and all uh, putting the indicator and also you are not lost in the jungle. So what I would request is I will be uploading this on YouTube. Uh, I would request every one of you to uh, go watch this practice along with that multiple number of times so that you are very comfortable with the trading view uh, and so that you are able to learn the technical analysis in a fast track. Okay, so I hope everyone enjoyed uh, today's session. You were able to learn how to use trading view. Yes. Can I have yes from all of you if you enjoyed the session today? Okay, great. So thank you so much for joining today. Uh, it was a pleasure interacting with you all today. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll be putting it on YouTube. You can practice along with that and um, do as many uh, number of times as you can. So you will be very comfortable using trading view and then uh, you'll be comfortable doing the technical analysis. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much for joining. See you on next webinar.